Nathan, I'm sorry I didn't mean to touch your back. Oh. What's wrong, darling? You won't believe what happened, Mother. And you have no idea who this girl is? Uh, none. Just that she keeps dumping things on my head. The fish guts were the worst. And the stuff she put on me, it's like liquid fire. Oh. Do you have any aloe vera gel, Mrs. Crane? That would take the burn out. Yes, I'll have one of the servants bring a bottle up to Ethan's room. I... So you really think this girl is stalking you? It seems that way. It's possible she has something against the whole Crane family, not just Ethan. Well, we can't just let her wander around loose. Obviously, the girl's unbalanced. There's no telling what she'll do next. I'm going to make it my business to have her put away the minute she's found. Please, God, let me get this job. And Ethan. Teresa poured heat liniment on Ethan's back? She thought it was body oil. She even rubbed it in for him? Oh, he must have been in agony. No wonder he took off like a bat out of hell before the contest. Oh, no. He still doesn't know Teresa's name. I don't think so. Even so, it might not save her this time. I mean, we're talking about the Cranes here, the single most powerful family in Harmony. I mean, if they really want to track Teresa down, you know, name or no name, they can do it. I mean, why wouldn't they? They think your sister's some serial crazy who every time she sees Ethan Crane just attacks him. If they find out who she is, she can say goodbye to her senior year. She'll be spending it in the loony bin. Or maybe even jail. We have to keep her away from Ethan and all the Cranes. Far away. Don't worry. I think Teresa even understands how important that is now. 